Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we have a brand new Photoshop tutorial and it's going to be using a picture of a cell phone and some water splashes and we're going to mix them all together and make a really cool effect. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you want to download all of the pictures, you can actually do it directly on our website. So go to ChristianPhotoshops.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the button that says free stock images and we have hundreds of images there that you can download for free and um, you can use them to practice with. And so if you want to go ahead and download these pictures, what you'll need is this picture of a cell phone, and then we have this picture of a water splash, and then this picture of a uh, water ripples. And all three of these pictures are available on the website. So let's get started. This is a pretty simple, but pretty uh, neat image to do. The first thing I want, um, let me go ahead and explain to you how I got the pictures. Uh, first of all, this is a picture of a cell phone on a table. And I uh, put the camera on a tripod and had it in a fixed position, and I took the picture. After I took the picture of the cell phone, I took the cell phone off of the table. And then, for the water splash, in the exact same spot that the cell phone was, I got a water... Um, this is actually just a cookie sheet from the oven, from the, um, the kitchen, and I put water in it. And um, I poured water into the, um, the surface of the water, got a big splash and uh, took the picture. So this is in the exact same spot on the table that the cell phone was at. The camera stayed the same um, on the tripod, so we have the same um, we have the same perspective and the same angles and everything, so that'll make it a lot easier. Uh, if you're curious how I got this picture, uh, this is, like I said, it's just a, a tray of water. The water's like a half inch uh, deep. It's not very deep water, and then I just poured water down into it. And so I've got um, a flash here on the left side and then I've got a flash a little bit brighter of a flash over here on the right side and this is in a completely dark room there's no window light there's no overhead light um, it's just completely dark no ambient light so all of the light that's happening is just from the flashes um, so if you're curious about the the camera information this was at um, 1 80th of a second and the aperture was at 9.0 and the ISO was around um, 2000. So it took a lot of practice. Uh, sometimes I click the, the, the shutter too early. Sometimes I clicked it too late. It's really, you have to just con continue to take a lot of shots until you get the right one. And I, I like this one. So this is the one we're gonna use. Um, and then the last picture is just a picture of some ripples. This is after the splash happened and came back down. And um, this is just the ripples. And I thought that'd be kind of a cool effect to add to. So these are the three pictures you'll need. We'll go and start on the cell phone picture. And what we want to do is bring in the splashes. So let's go and bring in this one first. Um, so we've got this splash right on top of the cell phone and we wanna make it look like the cell phone screen is the water and that the splash is coming out of it. Now, there's a lot of different ways to blend this with the background. And what I would recommend is using your blend modes. So if you've never used blend modes, what you wanna do is just go over here Click on your layer that you want to blend, and then right here, it defaults to normal, but then you have all these other blend mode options. And if you don't know what they look like each, you can just scroll through them. So just go through each one. Each one works a little bit differently. I don't have time to explain all of them, um, but you can just scroll through and uh, look, which, look which one looks the best to you, and then you can start from there. Now, the one I liked the best for this one is the light one. So click on lighten and what that does is everything that's lighter in the water splash picture will show up through um, on the background everything that's darker than the the cell phone picture everything that's darker will just be invisible so the lighten one works pretty well because the water is pretty light and the background's pretty dark so now that you have it to a light and blend mode let's make it a little bit smaller let's make the splash um, not quite as big maybe Maybe something like like that I think will be fine. About right, about right there. And hit your check mark. And you can tell um, it looks fine, but you can tell there's some obvious problems here. The corners of the screen on the cell phone are not covered up um, because we made the picture smaller. We made the water splash smaller so it doesn't fill up the entire screen. And so there's a quick trick to that. Just change your blend mode back to normal real quick. And what you want to do is you just want to continue the frame, essentially. So what we're going to do is just take a paintbrush and just sample some of these colors. 
and just draw in that triangle. It does not have to be perfect, but just kind of get some of those, those colors that you see in the water and just paint in that triangle right there. That's all you got to do. It does not have to be perfect. Same thing down here in this bottom uh, corner. Just sample some colors, paint it directly on that layer. And then over here on the left corner, same thing, just paint in that corner. It doesn't matter if you go off the edge. We'll fix that in a minute if we need to. All right, so now that we have all of our corners taken care of, change your blend mode back to lighten, and that looks pretty good. You can, you can spend a little bit more time over here making it look a little bit more realistic, but since we're gonna be doing more work to it later, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, that looks good. So here's our pretty much our starting point. You can see that it blends well with the screen, but it goes over the screen, it goes into the background, and that's an easy fix. Just get a layer mask, and then just use a black brush and just paint on the areas you don't want that coming through. So over here where the blue pops through from the wall, um, just use a brush, paint black on it, and it will go away. There we go. Also, another thing you notice with the water splash image, um, I was pouring water into it. So you see this stream of water coming down into the water splash. I don't really want that in the picture. And so you would just paint black over that too and that would make it completely disappear. So just just paint out that, that stream of water. Or you can leave it in, it's up to you, but I, I didn't want it in there. Okay, that looks pretty good like that. Now what we want to do is uh, get those water ripples. Let's bring that back into our cell phone layer. And now we have our water ripples on top of it. Now you can use blend modes for this one too. The one I thought was the most interesting that looked the neatest was the overlay blend mode. So change it to overlay. And then what we'll do is we'll just make it a little bit smaller. And we'll put those ripples right in the middle of our splash. So about right about there. That looks pretty good. The same thing as earlier, it doesn't get all of the corners. So what we'll do is just paint some colors right in here. You could also use um, cloning and um, other types of techniques for this, but for this, um, these little corners, I'll just paint with a paintbrush. All right, that looks good. Change your blend mode back to overlay. That looks just fine. And then what we'll do is use our, our layer mask and we'll clean up the edges where it went too far. So we really just want it to be in the screen. We don't want those ripples to be out in the wall or on the table or anything. So just completely erase everything that's not the screen. All right, that looks good. And then finally, I would change that, um, that I would change the opacity down just a little bit. It's a little bit too dark when you do it that way. So maybe change it down to about 70 or 80%, whatever you think looks right. Okay, finally, um, what we can also do is change the uh, the color. We can make it a little bit more blue or any color you want, really. So go to your first um, splash layer, click on your adjustment layers and do hue and saturation. And then what we'll do is we'll clip it to that, that um, splash. So do control alt G. And then over here on your hue and saturation properties, hit the colorize button and then just choose your color you want. We'll do like a, a greenish turquoise color. You can do your saturation right about 50 or, or whatever you think looks good, but we'll do it maybe right in there. I think that looks good. And then also we'll do the exact same thing to our ripples layer. So do an adjustment layer, hue and saturation, clip it, colorize it, and then we'll add some, some blue colors there. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let me, let's show you before and after. So there's all of our edits we made. We added the water splashes and the ripples. So there's before, just a regular cell phone on the table, and there's after, adding some water splashes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty easy, it's pretty fun, looks pretty cool when you're done with it. And uh, like I said, you can download all the pictures on our website, practice it, share me with, uh, what you come up with. I'd love to see your creations. But thanks again. Check back for more tutorials and we'll catch you later. Thanks, guys.